Hello to you, Bry here or Cub Battles Bry, whatever the hell you want to call me. Uh, bringing you a bit of an exciting gameplay today. I've managed to get a Moab using just the striker. Uh, I thought to myself, I've got quite a few Moabs now. It's not really that hard anymore. I can go four or five games trying to get a Moab using regular guns, and I can usually get one. Um, I've pretty much worked out spawns and everything now. But I thought. You know what, I'm going to start giving myself a bit of a challenge. I thought, I'm going to go for one with a strike and I'm going to try and get one with daft guns. Guns that I put myself at a bit of a disadvantage with. So I thought, right, best map I'm going to get it on, probably this. Spawn trap at A, get in this tunnel, run around in this tunnel like an idiot. Everybody just charges down it, charges around it. Uh, and the spawns on this map, I've never really quite completely understood. And there's times when I've been spawned A when we've got B and C. Not entirely sure what's going off there, but anyway, on with the gameplay, guys. Um, I have got the gun gold. I've got the extended mags and range proficiency on it. I figured they were probably the best ones, especially if I'm gonna have to take out quite a few people, which more than likely I'm gonna have to inside this little tunnel bit. Obviously, with them all spawning there, I'm right directly in their spawn, so I've got to be quick about it. I've got to be clever about it uh, and use it to my advantage. So, obviously I do move around the map a lot, but I do spend the majority of my time inside this tunnel. Uh, I get that nice C4 kill on that guy, he loved it. He was running around with UMP for the first few games before that, so uh, I thought I'd put him down early, teach him a lesson. Picking up a few kills, as you can see, they're all starting to spawn, and I mean, one of the most fundamental things about Call of Duty, as everybody knows, I do it myself, is revenge killing. Somebody kills you and you think, oh, you little sod, I'm going to go back, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him and I'm going to put him down and most of the time they end up killing me again because I lose my head running and they've just moved into a different corner or whatever, sat with some FMG9s or something and they'll just have me off. But there's a guy in this game called Scarface I think, something like that and I pretty much kill him for the majority of the Moab because this guy just doesn't take the picture that running around a corner with a machine gun when I'm waiting for him. I can hear him coming, I've got a Triton X Pro headset and I've got a striker. He's probably not going to come off best from this firefight. The only way he's probably going to be able to get me is if they stun me, but clearly the team we're playing against weren't clever enough to think of that. So what I've been doing is basically just sitting in this tunnel, controlling it, listening on my headset, waiting for him to come around the corners. I do drop back like here, drop back towards C, help my team out. Not just sitting up there, just uh, hauling up the kills. But I do head back towards this area because I know that they're not going to be spawning anywhere else. Because for once, despite me playing with randoms as well as some people that I know, the uh, randoms weren't running right in their spawn for once, which surprised me. But hey, I'm not going to complain about it. If I finally found some noobs who know how to play the game, then all, uh, all credit to them. Now, I thought I'd just go through a few sort of little hints and tips if you guys are wanting to try this, try getting a Moab with daft weapons. Uh, you're going to have to be clever about it. Whatever you're trying to do, guys, whatever gun, you're going to have to be clever. You're going to have to think about where you are on map, think about the maps that you're going to try and get it on and the guns that are best suited to getting it. And obviously, you can make it a bit difficult for yourself by using different guns on, I don't know, say, try and get a sniper Moab on mission. That'd be like pulling teeth, I'd imagine. But... I thought to myself, this map, probably the most likely chance I'm going to have. This whole mission, I failed a few times on mission, uh, controlling A spawn. I just seemed to get sniped from bottom, or tubed, or grenaded, or whatever. So, that usually doesn't end too well. As you can see, I'm just uh, raping the feed now. They're all coming back, they're coming different sides. And uh, pick up Moab, it don't take me long to get it, really. Um, the other tip that I can give you is to use a specialist. Um, from what I know, when you use the specialist, pick up that lovely triple there. Um, when you use the specialist, though, when you pick up the specialist bonus, you unlock not only all the perks, but as far as I'm aware, from what I've been told, you also pick up the all the proficiencies for the gun as well. Now, the striker with damage on is awesome, but if you've not got the range on, you, it does put you at a slight disadvantage towards people. So, by using this specialist package, I tried it using support, I tried it using assault wands. I mean, obviously, support's the most obvious one if you're trying to get a Moab. 
due to the fact that you can run your UAV, advanced UAV and like EMP, keep them completely in the dark, keep them on your radar as well, uh, so you know where they are. It's obviously the easiest one, but what I did find is that by not having these other perks, it, it, you do tend to put yourself at a disadvantage. I mean, you can see me running around on B here, and I'm not going to lie, these people weren't the uh, best guys that I've ever played Call of Duty against, but... In reality, you're not going to be able to run around in the middle of a map, say this map for example in B, later on I run around in the middle and I get killed a few times. There's too many different places where you can get shot from. Uh, other maps, say like Village, things like that, where the sight lines are a lot longer. If you run around the corner and there's someone at the other side of the bridge, majority of the time, unless they're blind or stupid, they're going to kill you. You need to be controlling your sort of engagements with people if you're not doing that then you're just going to fail over and over again and you're just going to wind yourself up doing it and uh, I do start off this game obviously get my Moab pretty quickly but then it does peter off quite quickly I get a bit brave running around and I stop thinking about it and for me in Modern Warfare 3 you've got to be thinking about it all the time because the game is so fast paced it's not like Black Ops or Modern Warfare 2 where you could just sort of sit back a little bit let things develop. The spawns and everything are so tight knit together that you've got to constantly be on your toes. You've got to be thinking about where they're coming from, where are they flanking me from, like whereabouts are they spawning, whereabouts my team in relation to me. And that's what I really think helped me get the Moab on this map, due to the fact that my team they know what they were doing. They didn't know I was going for the Moab with this, but Due to the fact that we do play together a lot, they obviously know what they're expecting of me and I know what I'm expecting of them. Uh, that we like, As we always do uh, when we play, as we've mentioned in previous commentaries on our channel, we hold two flags. Domination for us, we hold two flags. We hold them in a spawn trap and that, to me is how you should play Domination. I don't fuck about running into into their spawn, running through it. Uh, you'll never see me jump on, that, on the third flag on any of my commentaries because I just don't think it's good COD player. End of day, all they're going to do is spawn behind your teammates, and your teammates are going to get killed. They could be one off on the lab, they could be one off an AC 130, and how mad are they going to be if you flip spawn for the sake of what? Two kills? Three kills before you get that off? Because let's be fair, in this game, it's pretty hard to go beast mode all the time, uh, especially when you're in their spawn. We've all been shot around walls, we've all had all that kind of shenanigans going off. So it's pretty hard for you to bomb and weave in their spawn, especially if there's six of them, or maybe if you're playing ground war, nine of them. You probably have a few off, three, four maybe, and then you're going to get dropped eventually. It's, it's just inevitable, really. Until they fix it, uh, we're going to have these issues, and as such, you've got to limit your game playing that way. 15-11. woo -hoo! Finally, guys, I'm just going to show you this spot that I found on Dome the other day that is absolutely disgusting. When we play dome, we like to trap them at A, and uh, as you've probably experienced it yourself, everybody likes to camp in the dome. They all like to sit there, lay out the floor, do whatever, be disgusting. Uh, I found this little spot underneath this metal panel on the left hand side. I felt like a naughty little schoolboy after I found it, but it's absolutely disgusting. It's probably one of the worst wall bangs that I found. Uh, we're having a bit of a crazy day, I just thought, hey, why not? I'll shoot through this wall. Uh, this is actually a Moab fail because they left the game. Probably because I'll be disgusting and doing this. But you can see how easy it is with a striker to pick up kills through this wall. Now, obviously, we've got a motion sensor chucked down, so I can see where they are inside. And literally, you can just sit there and shoot through this wall as they spawn and pick up kills from it. I, I can't believe I've never seen anybody else doing it, especially any commentators. I know it's disgusting and everything, but hey, why not? If you can shoot someone through a wall and they're just sat there camping, then fair play to you. They probably deserve it for sitting in there in the first place. Well, that's it today from me, guys. Uh, I've been Bri, Cobb Battle Bri, Bri's God Mode, whatever the hell you want to call me, as I said before. If you could check out our YouTube channel, that'd be brilliant. Also, we've got a website, www.cobbattles.com and also you can follow us on Twitter from there. We're always getting people in from Twitter, so uh, if you want to play with us, then get yourself there, guys. Cheers. Bye.